Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning, moose and ladies. A nice brisk morning this morning. It's 10 degrees out. Uh, we had a teaser the other day when we were in the upper 30s. Can you hear Blossom the boys? Uh, Blossom and Buttercup. Got to spend the night with Zeke and Caleb. They're separated, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, we think Blossom went back into heat and we figured, you know what, we'll just bring Buttercup over there to keep Zeke company. Do you smell love in the air there, Tanner? Morning, guys. Would you like some breakfast in bed? Caleb says, yes, sir. Oh, it's probably too dark for you to see, but there you go. Have some breakfast in bed. Morning, Buttercup. How's Zeke been treating you? Oh. She's like, I'm out of here. There you go. Look, they're two lovebirds. Morning, Buttercup. Zeke, I mean, Caleb's your man, not Zeke. You guys stay over there. I know. We'll leave you in there probably another day or two. Make sure it all happens. I'll get you some fresh hay. Want some more hay? There you go. Feed you kiddos in here. Come on and hope. Come on in. You're full of spunk this winter, huh? Come on, let's go down here. Come on, Hope. Let's go. Let's go get some hay. Come on. Come on, <laughs> Come on Hope. You know that fool's gonna do that. Come on. Let's go. Hay's over here. And she's off to the races. This way. Hope, where are you going? Oh, you got right under it, dude, as I was throwing it. Ah, there. <laughs> Willow hasn't gone back into heat. There they go. <laughs> what are they doing, Willow? They're crazy. I think Willow is pregnant, fingers crossed. And then, so we'll let the other two girls stay over with the boys for a little while and make sure they get pregnant too. Loving the look of NYC with all the different license plates on it. Morning girls. We got more than half of the 50 states. Maybe we'll be able to get all of them on it. What are you doing, Goose? Is that some good stuff? Where's Maverick? We have another one for the other goats. A little bit later, we had to cut it in half. Look at that nice little treat for him. Loving it. All right, let's get the door pieces cut and glued up. One.
all the little burrs off. Otherwise, that'll really mess it up later on. I made the door the night before, that way the glue would have time to sit overnight and dry. Let's rip them down to five and seven eighths. So for our overall length, I don't want it. Let's go six and seven will be long enough, two of them. You think it's gonna work? Doo -doo. I even remember to bring your green bucket back down.
24 and 7 eighths. 24 and 7 eighths. 24 and 7 eighths. adjustments but that'll look cool Do you get, did you get up? 415. Oh. oh, it's so beautiful. Almost as beautiful as you. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> All righty. I like it. Uh oh. It's gonna make you a beautiful outhouse. You've always wanted a second bathroom. No, I'm not going to the bathroom outside. <laughs> I'll put it right outside the front door. No. I'll put it right outside your bedroom window. You can go right out the window. No? I can put it in the basement and you'll use it? If you, in it, yeah. Okay, composting toilet in the basement. Is that okay? Oh. Um, not if it's not smell. It not, might smell. Yeah, well, no, I don't want that in my basement. <laughs> I don't want like smells. You don't like smells? Use some ultimate wood glue. Technically, I should have put this board on first and then had this board overlapping this board so you wouldn't see this gap. But if I did that, I wouldn't be able to get two pieces of wood or two pieces of trim out of my wide board. So I was being cheap and decided to do it this way. That's my explanation there. Ready, Freddy? Get this knot glued back in place. 
best way I find to do this stuff is just hold it in place where the piece of glass can take. And then we can sand it after. how beautiful NYC looks with all those license plate from the viewers. Yeah. Did you ever come see how many states we have? Um, I did not, but I can today. Oh, a chicken came out at you. <laughs> That's gonna be really easy, guys. Well, that was nothing. No! <laughs> <laughs> What's up with your chickens today? Should I just pour in the green? How many eggs? Um, I'm gonna say three. I'll say five. You guys hungry? How many did you say? We have four. I know. Are you in heat, little P? Huh? Are you in heat? We have 26 states. So we only need 24 more? Yep. Easy peasy. All right, ready to bring the boys a Christmas tree half? Yep. You got that one? Yep. Okay, I'll get this one. Okay, which goat is that going to? Uh, this one is going to go to Caleb and Blossom. Caleb and Blossom. Look at my Christmas tree. Making a drag mark. Yeah, but mine's a lot more than yours. Yeah. Look, well, Blossom wants it already. I know, she knows exactly what it is. What do you think of that? Merry Christmas to you too. Give you guys some good fresh breath for each other. Oh. You want it, your own tree? You guys jealous? Here, I'm gonna go right where you are, Louise. You don't want to have fresh breath for Zeke there, Buttercup? Oh, you don't the like dogs. the dogs. I think Zeke's scratching his head on it. <laughs> yeah, he is. So we have one olive egg layer, and every once in a while she'll lay two eggs in one day. 
She's a keeper. Happen. She is. It's Can that cool. even happen? She's done it like at least four or five times. Are you sure? I'm positive. Tonight we're having, I guess you would call it goulash. I call it chop suey, but it's not that. I think the correct term is goulash. I don't know what you guys call it. It's just um, elbows, macaroni elbows, and burger, and then I usually add some uh, tomato sauce. And tonight I'm gonna add some organic chili that we got from Trader Joe's on um, this. It's never the same. Whatever I have, we put in there. So I guess school off. Olivia, can you test my macaroni, please? Yep. Hold on. Gotta let them cool for a second. Can you test them for me? Yeah. You're a good tester. Are they done? Yeah. They're done? No yep. longer? Nope. Tell me if you think it's okay because I don't have any black olives or any anything extra to put in there. Is it good? Okay. You approve? No. You're good? I approve. Wanna come back out after dinner and see if we can get some oil on the smokehouse. I like using a mineral oil beeswax mixture for any of our cooking or butcher blocks and stuff like that. Oh. Getting stabbed and sliced up tamarack. So we heated some up on the wood stove right here. Figure we'll start with the floor and if we have leftover we can do the roof and so on. I want to protect the floor this way if anything falls down here or the grease and the drippings we can easily wipe it off. didn't take much at all. See how far we can get on the roof. And with the roof it should help waterproof it. That's the reason we're doing it on the roof. I wasn't quite sure if we were gonna have enough. We had just enough. That's all hardened up beeswax and mineral oil left in both of these. Tomorrow we'll see if we can get it out of the workshop, hooked up, and get some smoke blowing out of this thing, guys. You'll have to wait till tomorrow for that one. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.